You really didn't start the video right now, are you? Mm -hmm. Are you seriously? Yeah. Joey's V8 sign. I put it up last night. What we did is, what we did is, um, we we made a little bracket for it, cleaned off the, all the welds for it, and that's what it looks like. So what we drew, what we did was we drew a, look, we got Doug in the house, Doug's coming into the bench. He said he didn't need any help, but he came up, he had a bear in one hand and had a toolbox in the other, but he did need help, obviously. Doug's got to vacuum the floors. <laughs> Where's he a little bit? That looks like the horse down the road, doesn't it, baby? Huh? I was like the horse down the road. <laughs> now she gets it. My wife will actually be chills. She could get mad at you. So we drew a little picture up there of the bracket that we wanted. And then I took and bent some, uh, some flat bar up to mimic the bracket that we made. And when I was done, I was so excited, I ran down and showed the baby. I said, look, look at the bracket I made. And I got a good job out of her. She said, good job, honey. So I can back up and put some chains on it and, and put, hung it up for her. So there it sets. I don't know whether to put some paint on it or let it rust or whatever. Uh, we're gonna do the seats today. Um, Jolene put the camera up on me and here we go. Uh, Doug's, Doug's gonna play with the engine there. He's gonna do a little bit more work to it. He might even see if he can get it running. And uh, that's gonna be much to appreciate it. And what I'm gonna do for Doug when, when like he do, like working for me, helping me out, when we get a chance to give her a little bit of snow, we're gonna paint a Jaguar of his that he, he's restoring. And uh, we're gonna paint the top of it, Doug? Just the yeah, top of it? I know, uh, yes, just the top, yeah. yeah. Uh, change in color or keeping the same color? Well, don't know yet. Don't know yet. Don't think about that. Okay. Well, if you were thinking about blue, it sure would look good with that red. I'm going to change the red, too. Oh. Uh, I guess. I'm reupholstering the whole thing. Are you? Yeah. You're going to spend some more money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that means my paintwork has to be better. <laughs> Damn it. Now, will you, buy, will you get that reupholstered, or will you buy kits and put no, it on? I'll get it reupholstered. There's a guy in the Mount Dignac who's very good. Okay, he's cool. Just, good. You wasn't happy with the die kit? With the die kit. Well, the, the, the die didn't work. It, 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 uh, it, uh, and that was my fault because I uh, put, put uh, it soaked it with that uh, stuff that uh, it's hard to get out of the weather. Okay. Probably some oil or something. It needs to put oil. Okay. You made it soft and you should have done it. Okay. I'm going to grab a piece of metal. I think that might be wide enough for the seat right there. That looks pretty good. That's 18 gauge, so we can't tell the difference. And now that I'm thinking about it, now that I'm thinking about it. You're bound to determine not to use the Jag seats, eh? Well, I'm not bound to determine. I'm just bound to determine to make my own seats. I want to try it. I want to make some seats. Okay. Uh, I've seen some seats. I like them. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm going off what someone else did. I see what, Jolene's got a picture of a set of seats. Yeah. I looked at it. I liked it. She liked it. And we're just going to go off that and see what happens. See what happens. You're, uh... Them for comfort, right? not, not, not just Little bit of <laughs> Doug is a man that believes you should run your ride. Are you Doug? Yeah. Run your ride. It's <laughs> not just a pretty face, eh? No. He can fix. He can fix an engine too. <laughs> not just a pretty face. He can fix an engine too. What we're going to do here is I'm going to. I should. First, what I got to do is I'm, uh, I'm going to do a measurement inside the car to see how wide to see how wide I can make the seat without any involvement of carpet, um, any of that stuff, and to stop me from anything. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I want the seat on the bottom inside. The trans tunnel and the wheel opening. I want to be able to get in there. I do not want to stop any movement because of the wheel well at this point. So the measurement I have is 18 and three quarter. So let's face it, half inch off each side. I'm looking at 17 and a half would be the best bet on the width of the seat. 17 and a half. That's the bum area. As you can see, as, as I have that on there, if I have that seat like that, 
if this is this is the bottom of the metal, the foam sits in there. If the bum is wider than 17, I haven't checked mine out yet, it can hang over here. <laughs> you know what I mean? It can hang over there. Does not matter. So on this, I want to I want to make the bottom 17. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna shear a piece of this and make it 17 and make it fit the bottom. On the bottom, I want it perfectly 17 wide. On the top, I'm gonna to do a little something. I'm gonna bend each arc, bend, bend them out a little bit, and bend this one out a little bit, and just kind of give it a, a back figure, I guess. Uh, it's our chance to build a chair. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna build a chair. A chair. Doug's just taking all the goop out of the out of the engine there, playing with that. Uh, I appreciate that. And the way we'll show we, we appreciate it is we'll help him out on his car. Huh? Right, Doug? That's what we're gonna do. We'll even film that every day. And uh, we'll we'll show what we're doing and uh, continue on doing what we're doing. Why would we not? Why would we not? And we're gonna 17 and a half. They won't do that, Chetty. See, see, I like guessing, see? Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. 17 and a half. 17 and a half. Is the old shear coming off down here? It's gonna be here in a second. Put this tape measure right here. Sometimes it gets like this, and it is what it is. You have to do what you have to do, I guess. These things are going everywhere. Radio, Tim, give me. I thought I needed it from 1972. We turned the radio on, but you can't hear anything with the radio on when I'm talking. This is a shear I bought on the mountain. I got it from Lori. Lori Layton, he's the guy in the mountain we buy our metal from. Um, he's been on the show where we, we bought an engine from them. Yeah, we done quite. A, we still do. We're you know when we can, but uh, he called me up there and he said, "I got a shear up here. You think you'd be interested?" And I said, "Come up, take a look at it. Seventy-five dollars. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Give it to me for the price of junk, you know. Wow. Yeah. You know he doesn't. He doesn't do that every day. But let's face it. Uh, if there's you know goodwill, he can pass on. Lori's that kind of guy." Yeah. Uh, in Bridgewater? Yeah. That looks like a good engine. Yeah, I think so. I think he seemed like a really good guy to deal with. Yes? I, I, that's why we ran right down there and got it. Yeah. Because we knew, or he told us what it was, and I, uh, and I believe 100%. And when you look at the truck, it came up, uh, that, that's a good sign. <laughs> that's a good sign, isn't it? <laughs> if it was beat up in the back of the field, it's probably not a good sign. <laughs> Doug told me this morning I want to pass it on. If you got a spark plug that not, will not screw in with your fingers, do not screw it in because you're going to cross thread it. Take your time, clean her out, and, and, and then do it. And then do it. So I'm going to remember that. I'm going to remember that. I got two in here. I'm just looking for what I'm doing is to use these things. I'm looking down in between this piece and I'm just trying to find. Where I marked it, that's all I'm doing. Looking down, see if you look down in between there, you can see that. You can see it. And I'm just looking down there for the center of that. And I'm looking down for this one. I know it's sometimes whatever, trying, but. Fingernails, it will take off. So what we have here is a piece of. 18 gauge. Woo, it's quite a monster compared to compared to 20 gauge. Wow. Now I knew why I was uh, yeah. 
There. After I put the, I'm trying to adjust using, I never used 20 gauge before. Just this is almost like plate. It was almost like plate compared to that. I'm just kind of wondering with the seats where it would be easier to bend and stuff. Just continue on. I'm just using my own brain whether I liked the thin or not or the 18 all the time. I'll have to, I'll have to play that over. As I have this shape right here, tight. Let's make it. Let's make the shape. Just to look at it. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so let's do a little bit and we'll wind it around. Don't let me misplace that. Rejecting us probably will. I'm just going to try to make this shape right here first. And I'm going to manipulate it by putting it in here. Bend it down around. far enough in. I'm going to move. I didn't shove the metal far enough in. As you can see, come take a look again. As you can see, the bend, the bend is up here. I didn't leave enough meat down here. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to do it on this end. I know I got enough length to do this side. We'll do it on this end. What the heck? What the heck? I guess we're allowed one mistake this morning. Maybe. What I'm going to do is take my marker. I'm looking at this line here. <clears throat> I'm going to guess that far. I'm going to guess. And I'll tell you why. Because I can. <laughs> And that's the freedom of building your own car, eh? Guess whenever you want to. Guess whenever you want to. All right. It's a new gear, eh? Yeah. No, I got this far. I might as well do that. Feel good. Yes, man of your money. <laughs> And we sort of got it there. We're going to manipulate it. We got to get it a little tighter. Five foot eight and broke. Five foot eight and broke. <laughs> five foot eight broke. I remember that one. I wonder what five foot eight has to do with it. <laughs> I can scratch you. Okay. That's as tall as they get. See, now you got me. Got me thinking, anyways. Five foot eight and broke. I think I'm five foot nine and broke. Five foot nine and broke. I won't say that. Jolene, Jolene can save me money. No, I'm not broke. I'm sorry. I'm not broke. First time in my life, I'm not broke. But you know what? My mentality is still the same. If you know, if you know what I'm trying to say, I still feel the exact same way about everything. Does does not change you, it, or it hasn't me, anyways. I need. I gotta get rush get going on here, haven't I, baby? Get moving. Get chopping. Um, we'll use this because we can. I learned something from Jeff there with the, with the wax. Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah I, I never thought that. Me neither. I wouldn't have thought that in the world. I thought we were just making incense. <laughs> but that working? It, you know. yeah, it all seemed to help. And with uh, Peter telling me to heat, heat, the, heat, the, heat the head of the torch, yeah. it, it, it all helped. 
It did, every and little bit. Finally, you hear that texting, I know you got it. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. Well, I'm clear. Like, it was a good day, Sage. Well, I'm down the house. What was a good day? Yeah. I'm down the house very happy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, if nothing else, it would have been a. See all the holes there now? You, you can you can hand screw a, a spark plug down those those now. Okay. You keep doing a good job, Doug. I keep wanting you to come back. Yeah. <laughs> I, would, I, would, I wouldn't come if I wasn't having fun. <laughs> What's that? I wouldn't come if I wasn't having fun. Cool. That's good. Awesome. Doug's having fun, people. <laughs> Doug's having fun. That's what we all should do, be having fun. Should be done. We all should be having fun. On on this piece right here, as I'm cutting it, uh, this piece is, I want that 17 and a half wide. That's an eight, that's an eight. So I'm gonna make it 17 and a quarter. So when I put it inside that piece, that piece is still 17 and a half. Just want, to, I wanted to let you know, so I remember. <laughs> oh, Tina wants it. <laughs> Started working out last night, Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, we, we used to play a little bit, but I feel like when you work out, you seem to have more energy. Like, yeah. you do, like. Well, how do you work out? I punch the bag and do push ups. Okay. Joni does buttocks muscle exercises and yeah. that sort of stuff. Yeah. So we, we just do it together. I like to punch the bag. I'm here, I need to do 35 push ups, 35 set ups each, each day. Oh, okay. Yeah. I haven't done that for a little while since I was here. Yeah, well, there you go. Well, it wouldn't hurt. Like, I mean, before you go to bed, do a push up or a sit up. Yeah. yeah. I mean, get the old blood running. But it's just something I feel like I had more energy when I was working out than I have now. Yeah, and I feel it's just because, you know, obviously, if you're working out, you would have more energy because you're working on having energy. <laughs> I guess that's the way to look at it. Yeah. Any better than that? My mom, who was my hero, yes, was still going strong at 97. Wow! Wow! Wasn't long. Walking, walking two blocks down to, to get her groceries. I, I'd given her a little cart, a grocery carts. Yeah. Two wheels. We go down there and get the bags of sugar and bags of salt and cart it up uh, two, two, two flights of stairs herself. Very she used easy. it. She didn't lose it. No. And yeah. she, uh, all her life, she like she uh, she had to quit school when she was five or six to, to help <laughs> her farm. Wow. Uh, well, it wasn't very old. Uh, yeah. You know, maybe six or seven. Uh, Things sure have changed. She, she taught herself. She she uh, all her life she'd go down to the library <clears throat> and get three books a week. I read them and they weren't fiction. <laughs> they weren't fiction. <laughs> three books a week. <laughs> three books a week. You trying to make me feel bad? <laughs> She taught herself. She was well well educated. Yeah. By the time she was done. Well, reading a few books a day would, would give some to you, wouldn't it? Yeah. As long as they're good books. Yeah, for sure. Wow. <laughs> Mine was how to mess the house up and get it clean before the parents get back. <laughs> <laughs> there. And I don't know if I want to put it in the front or the back. I guess it does not matter. And the reason it does not matter is because that's what I'm going to use to maybe make a bracket and hold it down. And then I'll do a 17 and a quarter back here and we'll weld that together. Let me just get the welder going. It's kind of wondering. Nope, I'm going to do it. I'm not going to do it.
So you've seen a lot of change in your in your day, haven't you, Doug? Since 2020, 2021, you've seen a lot of change. Absolutely. Sure. Make sure that 17 and a half apart by welding this in there. And I'm going to stick that in there the best I can. Hold that flat on the floor. that very well and I'll say why I left the gap in it I don't want the gap in it I don't think straight yet or not, I'm just plunking them on. Um, Exactly the same, that's all I'm going to do. That's all I'm going to do. Check and see if it's square somewhat. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're fine. Okay, so that's. That's the bottom of the seat. That's how it sits. Um, I'm going to weld that right now, actually. Uh, actually, I'm going to sheet the bottom of it. Why not? Yeah, because that's not going to affect that. I can still weld that. I'm going to sheet this part. This part's going on the ground. So you're going to in there. That's fine. Everything's good. Everything's good. Before I weld that bottom on, I sort of want to make this as straight as possible because uh, once that's welded on, it's going to be something strong. It's going to be strong. And all I'm trying to do is make this line here down here the same as this one here. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm going to, have to try this in there. Now, we have our. 
then we just have it there. You see right here, we plug it here. Go all the way up, go all the way up. Not hit, see if we pull it all the way up here, we still got way up in front of here if we want to. Or we can shove it back a bit and put it in there. Like it's, there's many. And it looks good. And it looks good. Got it. Right. We'll get the bottom plug going. Slave today. I'm going to put this back here so you know where it is. For sure. You just hide it on me. Doug, will you do me a favor for a second while you're standing? While you're just right there helping you out, old buddy? All I want is, I just don't want, eh. I just don't want this metal to fall down. This, can you, just, no. I, I want to get this side over. Where you're right there. If we can hold that right there, please. Yeah. Watch your eyes. <laughs> Put your ground on, Chatty. Put your ground on. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. You got it. This side too? Um, yeah, I think I, I got that one there, I suppose. I'm going to try to straighten this out some. This has got to come over my way, maybe. My way a little bit. I was pulling away from that, didn't it? Yeah, if this perhaps has to spread out a bit here. I think maybe I have to pull this. It fits good there, though. I'm going to weld it. Watch your eyeballs, guys. Mm -hmm. All right, that's got her, I think. She's not going anywhere now. Yeah. I just have to put another tab here to... Oh, well, there we go. Now we're talking. Watch your eyes, Doug. God oh, bless her. Beautiful. I'm just going to push that in just a little bit. Just push it in just a little bit. Watch your eyes. Very good. Better, just like that. Beautiful. Sitting nice. Sitting nice. Sitting nice. What I'm going to do is, wherever it's tight, I'm going to nail it. Wherever it's not, I'm going to make it tight. I'm going to get a pair of gloves on because I know I'm going to get burnt. you know. Got to be good to be lucky, don't you, Doug? No. <laughs> it helps. Yes, it does. That's what, it, it helps. That's what it does. It helps. I just want, I want to get my hammer for a second. I want to get it down tight there as possible.
going around it and make sure everything's tight. Make everything's tight. Make everything's tight. Well, uh, I think I want to, <clears throat> I have to make my mind if I want to weld it. I'm going to do it. Water in there now, and then grind it off. I'm just going to grind and weld that. Then I'll flap or wheel that off, and then I'll roll the piece down on. Sometimes I jump and run. Look at this thing. I got this thing at, uh, at, at Brad's place. They call that a uh, trench urn, I guess, sort of. I guess it may be a test bomb, Doug was saying. I know it, it would be a test dummy bomb, a hit in the head. <laughs> You'd be done. I'll hang that from the ceiling of our, our other little place, our little man cave that we have, our little place that we hang out. Our cottage, we'll say, for now, our cottage. We know we're going pretty square because the metal's running up at nice both sides. When the metal wasn't running up nice side both sides, it wouldn't be square. What we're going to do, we run it up together. Instead of running up one side, <laughs> then you can have a pucker on the other side. So run it up together, you know, evenly. Now on this back part, I'm going to cut this. On the back, I don't want to bring it up straight. I don't think I do. I don't know why, but I think I want to cause more work for myself. And I want to make the shape of the back. The bottom is, if you notice this little seat here, the seat is narrower at the bottom than it is at the top. It seems to be wider at the back part of it than the bum. Okay, so I have that going. This is where your foam is going to stick on this metal. It's going to stick on this metal. We're going to shove it down in there. And we're going to stick it right along here, roll it right up. And we're going to stick it right up to the back. And it's going to be that thick or thicker. It all depends on how I shave the sides down too. I could cut the sides down even smaller if I want to. Um, right at the present moment, I'm going to cut this off because I want to make a piece for the back that flares the back out a little bit, like, like so. I don't know why. Do you think it's necessary, sweetheart? Or? Um, it's up to you, hon. What? It's up to you. This is not going to reach the back. Uh, my plan was to do that, so that's what I'm going to stick with. I'm going to stick with my plan. Where, where's your adjustable lumbar? My adjustable lumbar? <laughs> Doug's on the situation that I have no answers for. 
<laughs> I don't know what the lumber. Um, lump, we mean so you can put it back and make yourself feel comfortable. So, so tight in your box. I'm going to buy Julian. I'm going. I'm going to buy Julian a pretty little pillow. It says I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cut this off right here. And then I'm going to make a piece for the back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shear a piece off at say, we'll say 18, and then I'll do the angle thing on my own. Once you can drive it for five hours at a stretch and get out and feel fresh, then she knows it on <laughs> Doug's got me under pressure. That song from ZZ Top. Under pressure. <laughs> seems like, you know, I'll just make it into two and try to make it quicker to make this and try to make that one. We're going to get geared up for another piece of metal for the back. Get up another piece of metal for the back. And I do not want it 17, I want it 18 inches, 19 inches. All I'm looking for is to spread the back out a little bit. So I'm going to take a quick measure, a uh, pencil, and find myself a piece of tin. How's that going, Doc? Good. Well, you can screw them all down right to the bottom now by hand. Awesome. That doesn't work. I'm just cleaning the wax out of the holes here in this. So is that sort of a mess, the wax part? Well, you know, it's spread around pretty good, but uh, look at this one. Did it with the plugs in it? Spray around the plugs in it and then vacuum it out? Yep, yep. Metal. I guess so to the back to what we have. Uh, three foot sheet. I'm going 18. Uh, 18 and 19. 18 and 19. 17. You would never notice. You would never notice. 17, 17 and a half. We'll go 19 and a half, two inches. Two inches is quite a bit to flare out at the top, what do you think? Or go with that? Yeah. Try it. Let's try it. So it was 17 and a half was the side of the seat. We'll go 19 and a half. Stay on there, take measure. 19 and a half. 
I probably could clean the shop up quite a bit, but I like to save everything, you know? There's no sense throwing stuff away that can be used or can be used. That would be silly, wouldn't it? Huh? That'd be silly. Here it is right there, B. Not over our hour yet, are we? Good, good, good. Oh, we trade. Oh, yeah, I want to go 17 of them. I must make the mark now and cut it. I would like to do this, like give it a swoop. But what I'm thinking is there's not enough length to show any of the, that. So we'll just go from uh, 19 and a half down to 17. I should get the length of this first. You know what I'm trying to say. And I'll just measure it down straight and then we can make that fit. I just want the length of it sort of somewhat. Gonna cut, cut the length a little shorter. So, I'm gonna take this tape measure here, find out the length that I marked it. That was the edge back there, was it? Hope so. I'm gonna go with it. 21 inches, we're gonna say. Cut it off. Because if I took and measured from the 17 up to 19, uh, there wouldn't be very much left. So now I've got a piece here, uh, 19 half wide, and the, and the back part of it's 17 and a half. So now all I'm going to do is, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go in an inch on either side, and I'm going to draw up, and I'm going to cut it. I'm going to take what first straight edge for me, right around here a little bit, I know, but it is what it is. here. It was 17 and a half above the seat. This is 19 and a half. So what I'm going to do is reach on either side. I don't like doing it that way. Uh, for two inch. We'll do it that way. There's an inch. There's an inch. Should be 17 and a half. 17 and a half. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go from nothing to the 17 and a half. That's how much the back is gonna flare at the top. Just gonna do it a little bit. I'm just gonna flare it a little bit. Not a whole lot, didn't you? So that's not a whole lot, I don't think. But it'll give it some shape. But we're going for, we're going for shape, ain't we, baby? We're going for shape. Yeah, 
and going the extra mile for shape. And that's what I'm telling myself. That piece that I see. How wide is this? How long is this piece? 21. I just wanted to, I just want to remember how long that piece was to make this piece because I'm gonna cut it off at the top. I'm just gonna to mark that on there. So I remember. Because I'm gonna end up cutting it off. Just gonna try to hit that line if we can, best we can. And that's all we can. There's penetrant. Some solvent. We want some brake clean. No, no, no. You look, we even look through here. Whatever you want to use there, Doug, go for it. There's some uh, crown down there. There's some penetrant over there. Some WD-40 up there. Gasoline. Gasoline. <laughs> On my knuckles. <laughs> uh, I think we have some... Under the table over there. Oh, here, you spinner. Use this stuff. Right here. Like this. No, I'm going to tip it in that can. Yeah, just take the top off, tip the can, and go right on your rag. That's thinner. Tanner! All right, now, I'm going to back. <laughs> The matter of doing that is just getting that on there straight. Awesome. I'm just wondering if I should put a little roll in it. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty good stuff. <laughs> yeah, I can't complain, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty good stuff, you know? It's very nice and thin. Good stuff. Love it. Alrighty, I'm going to tack the back on, and hopefully, I'm going to have a seat. I'm going to tack it in the middle first. Tack it in the middle first. Still slow. Just a quarter this way. Now, as I work this down, I'm going to pull it in to make it fit the top of the. Side at a time and try to and see what happens. And all I'm trying to do is make that edge of that metal 
fit the edge of the, the plate. And once I do that, I know I have the right shape because my metal's cut to shape. I might have to come up beyond to get it, who knows. But, that right there, me, is tight. Hoping somewhere close. Cool. More or less, you know, this game right here I'm playing is called follow the leader. Uh, the leader is this, this tin on the back, and what has to follow is the plate. So I'm just trying to match it up, and that's all I'm trying to do is match it up. Which match up nice and tight. I'm going to go to the other side. Match that side up. And we know we've got to be in the shape that we want. Because, I got that one out a little far. I got that one out a little far. Go to the other side in case we get in trouble. I don't think we are. I don't think we are. Doug, you sure you don't want me to make seats for your car? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you like the honesty? No. no. Yeah. Back to the other side. It's starting to look like something. edge how it went back but we can we can play with it after we can cut more off that after you know as, as, as 
if we don't like, if you know what I'm trying to say, like if we don't like, um, if we don't like, I want to put this plate in here so straighten that out. Put the ground off. Excuse me, there, sweetheart. sure we can even get it in there. I even like that part where it's round. I like that. I don't know if it did that on its own, but I like it. Um, And I'll just hold that to make it fit on all the way around. Leave that for now. Cut that This time I don't have to run it down to the house, I can just put it in the car and show it. Hey baby, look at me! <laughs> made a seat. That's sort of, well that is what it looks like. It's 17 and a half at the bottom. 17 and a half at the bottom, I'll have to weld that all up. I'll get Jolene to weld that. Good weld project, baby. <laughs> we'll weld that all up. If you can picture it, which I know you can. smoking, you know that? And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why that looks smoking. To me, why it looks good. I'll tell you. I like how the top's flared out. I like how the top's flared looks nice. 
Well, we'll have to see when they get the phone in or done. Maybe we'll... <laughs> the question will be answered when the seat... We will not know until the seat is finny. But I sure do... Come on over, Doc. Come on over. Let's check out the fruits of the labor. <laughs> so we're going to put... We're going to... This is all going to be foam up to the top of here. Yeah. It's going to be foam. We're going to glue it on the face of this and run it up. In the back, we we'll put made a little bit wider than the bottom. That looks good. Well, thanks, Doc. There you go. Maybe a little. I'll, I'll get a little fun. I might make her. I might make a fancy head. See where the where it's metal. Yeah. I'm thinking that I can, you know, get them footstools, have them chrome bars go across. Yeah. I know on the top of them seats they have them chrome bars that go across, and some of the seats I might take one, one of them footstools and take the chrome bar off and be able to weld it on the back. And maybe make her a little headrest or something, maybe something funky, you know, something maybe back in the day. You're probably going to have to pad that in. Yeah. You don't remember very much here and thicker here because you don't want to be leaning back when you're driving. Or that thing would go so fast, you'd probably end up laying that way, anyways. Well, you, you don't want to be leaning back when you're driving. <laughs> All righty, that's how we make a seat. How many, how many hours, baby? An, an hour? hour? Yeah. We got an hour in, Doug. Yeah. Thanks, Doug, for coming. Yeah. Hey, great day. Doug's probably going to play around with the engine a bit more. Doug bring us the paper to, today. He showed us the, you know, showed us, bring us the paper today. We did not get it. We thank you very much. It's very kind of people to, you know. Hey, also, I want to show you. Oh, you want to look at that one? My baby's top matches the inner fender. Way to go, Joey. <laughs> nice job. Did you? You notice that? Um, there, there, there's a man that came in that owned the engine right there that's sitting there, bangs a picture of the car that it was in, and uh, crazy. Look at that, would you? Bring her back to life. Bring her back to life. Doug's going to bring her back to life, and we will. Eh, I'd like to show Doug starting to be honest with you. Um, well, give me a little time first. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, have a good one. That's how we're going to make the seats. I'm really, I'm really digging the top, how it comes out. It went above where I thought it would look like, and I'm very happy with it. Uh, I'm very happy with that seat. It looks good. It was a good decision on my part so far. Um, I, I'm thinking Jolene might like it. I'd like to set a little foam in there so she could, get, so she could sit on it, but I don't have any foam that thick anywhere, do I? The knee pad thing. Just a minute here. We'll... Ah. Got this thing. You want to try sitting in this just a minute now? I have some foam around the corner. I know we haven't got much time left, but I think this would be best anyways because it protect you from the metal. We'll get the clean side. This is a workout mat. Yeah. Just to see if it works, you know, see how it feels. Don't get to see the seat though, that's the problem. Okay, put that in the bum of it. Yeah. And we'll put this on top of it. Don't know if you want to sit on all that, sweetheart. Well, that's pretty close, you know. That, you know I, I hate to say it, but that's pretty close. Well, we sit on it. <laughs> You, you sit in it. We call that a dog shit sandwich. When you ask somebody to do something that you would not do yourself, that's called a dog shit sandwich. And the reason I say that is you have a bite first. You have a bite first, right? You go ahead. You have a bite first. Dog shit sandwich. When you ask somebody to do something that you're not willing to do, that's called a dog shit sandwich. You take a bite first. Actually, it's got me back so far that I want to come ahead some, if you know what I'm saying. That's not bad. It's not bad. I, I agree with Doug on the part, on the back part, it's going to hit you. On the way part, part where it lays back, it might want to be a little bit thicker. But I can actually sit in this car and drive this car now. Whoever's doing the upholstery can work with, uh, with the thickness of, uh, of the... Uh... Yeah. What can I say? What else can I say? 
Pedal drapes there? Yeah, like I can do heel toe with the brake pedal where it's at. Yeah. I mean, I got my hat up inside. Yeah. Yeah. Lay back. Like sliding around, got this metal, but like it can go back even further. Like, yeah, I like it. I do. I don't, it's not bad. I mean, I don't know. It's got me. It's got me quite a ways off. Are you pretty erect in that? He wrecked. <laughs> what, what's between your, your back and your shoes? Right yeah, right there is where I'm hitting quite heavily. And none on the top. None on the top. So I'd say you want to build her out maybe a little bit. Yeah, or maybe even a headrest. But they'll look good. Yeah, the headrest isn't going to do it. I, I wouldn't do a headrest. I really wouldn't. No, we don't. I, I, I but shape the seat there. The they have them chrome things that make it look like it's a headrest. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. That's, so I can do heel toe. Yeah. The wheel's got to come back further for me, but it's not my car, so. No. But it works. Oh, oh my goodness, I've got it jammed like way back there, right? Yeah. It's hard to tell, but. Here, and if you angle that on the, on the bottom, that, that, would, that, that would compensate for that. That, that would, Jolene might fit there. <laughs> Jolene's going to have to sit in there. put a support under that. To bring that up about that shape. I well, think, I think you'll, you'll find your back will be a whole lot better. That's the problem. The jacks are right in the ceiling, don't it, baby? When, when we do that, that's the problem. Yeah, I can. Huh? I can. You can? Yeah. All right, here, just try that for me. Just sit on that. Like, yeah, sit. I've got a little piece of. Uh, It's hard to tell until they're... Oops. See it sliding around quite heavy, isn't it? Yeah. Now, like you're, you're way up the hill on that. Like you're way up... A, that can come, yeah, that's where that's supposed to be. Somewhere right around there, leading down like that. Does that feel good for you? It hits in the back quite hard, doesn't it? Or are you okay with it? <laughs> oh, he's got stuff. What do you got there? The box there. Set it up on. Yeah. Here, I got a piece of piece of wood here somewhere. That too high. She'll be in the she'll be in the moon. Yeah. Try it, Jolene. Should be in the moon. All right, Jolene, we're going to end this video with a smile. <laughs> yeah. Smile, Doug! Cheers. <laughs> Why won't it stop filming? I made my fingerprint. My, my gloves on won't give a fingerprint. Cheers, he says. <laughs> Cheerio!